Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I recently got some layers in my hair. I wanted something different. And um, I decided to make a video to show you guys how I've been styling them. Um, it takes me... Maybe. It takes me a little bit long to do it with a blow dryer. So I went and I bought this. It's from Revlon. And um, I think it's like my third or fourth time using it and I really like it. Um, if I had one negative thing to say about it, about it, it would be that my hair kind of gets stuck in between these things. But I mean, it's normal, you know. When that happens, I just usually grab another brush and just um, brush it out. See? Oh, uh, I need to see that. And that's how I get it um, to come off. And it's a really... I, I didn't even know that they had these. I knew that they had the ones that like um, blow air as you're drying it. So you can use it while it's wet. But this one's actually um, hot. Like you can't use it while your hair is wet or it'll, it'll just burn it. But it's really nice. I really like it. It works super good. It's just like whoop, one swipe and your hair is already like whoosh, nice and flipped out. Um... Another thing is that these little things are like silicone. It's like little silicone sticks. So you're able to touch them while you're using it and without burning yourself so that your hair can really like hug it and you can even touch it. Just make sure you don't pull like tug on it too hard or you, you'll you burn yourself. You know, just a little bit, just gently, just let your hair is able to wrap around it. And um, it has two different settings. It has the low and the high. I think the highest is like 450 that it goes to. So that's the one I had it on to um, do this look. And I think it runs somewhere from $25 to $30. You could probably get it at Walmart or Target. Um, so yeah, just in case. And I'm doing this video because I was looking up tutorials, um, um, you know, to see if any girls had done looks with this and how it had worked for them or how they were using it. I wasn't sure and I couldn't find any. So I was like, okay. I'm going to make one so that anyone that bought this like I did and you know wants to see how it's used or whatever they could get a better idea by watching my video so yeah really short video just wanted to show you guys how to use this little tool no puppy so yeah see you guys next time bye if you want to see how I went from this to this then please go ahead and keep on watching so i just took a shower last night and i didn't do anything to my hair i didn't comb it out or anything so my hair is looking pretty crazy so you're gonna want to make sure you comb it out just to get all those knots out of your hair so that everything could go along smooth so once we've done that i'm gonna be going in con una liguita y me voy a agarrar solo la capa de arriba es la capa más corta que tengo ahorita and I'm just going to put it to the side because it's la capa que me enfoco en más porque es la que está más cerca a mi cara. And you want to look good, of course, so put it to the side. Next, I'm going to be using my Revlon Pro Collection Heated Silicone Bristle Curl Brush. Oof, that's long. And I'm going to put it on high. And gently, I'm going to be wrapping my hair around it away from my face. You want to make sure it's away from your face if you do it inwards like towards your face is gonna look really funny and as you can see the bristles of the brush are made from silicone so if you touch them you're not gonna burn yourself the only part that's like really hot is the center which almost looks like a wand and yeah i'm just going to be repeating this step and then once i get to the other side of my face i'm just gonna want to flip it out again outwards and not in towards my face and I really like this product. You basically almost comb it through and it curls. So I'm already done with the bottom half. And now we're going to move to the top layer. Going to want to brush it out and make sure everything's nice and smooth. Just so that everything could go along easier. And I always really like to take my time on the top layer. Because I feel like it's the one that's most important. 
And even though I wanted to look controlled and curly, I still want it to look with a lot of volume. So I try to curl it up a little bit taller by the root of my head so that the curl could have lots of volume and this so that it just doesn't look plain and flat. See, see, oh, what a difference. <laughs> it's like one side looks so pretty and the other side is like, yikes. So, yeah. Let's finish up. And so this is the final look. And go ahead and add some hairspray to lock those babies in so that they don't move anywhere. Your hair could be nice throughout the whole day. And we are done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye.